Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week, uh, it's a little bit more uh, vlog, rough cut style because I thought I would um, take you with me as I go through the maybe items in my closet. I have a basket in my closet with my maybe items and I keep them there for a couple months. If I reach for them, then I know that it's a keeper and not um, you know, something that I should donate or sell. And because we're all together in self-isolation, I thought what a great opportunity we have to go through our maybes and actually spend a day in them. Every day I'm gonna pick a new item and I'm just gonna wear the item all day and see how I feel in it, if I'm comfortable, do I like the way I look when I walk, you know, in front of a mirror? <laughs> I don't know. The first item is actually this yellow turtleneck, which if you'll remember, I actually bought secondhand and I was so excited because I really wanted color. It's merino, it's a, a Club Monaco piece. But number one, I no longer have a nude bra. So this is like the first issue with this piece. Um, I don't have the right undergarments for it. So that is something that can be rectified. This was in my maybe pile because it's just very yellow. So, um, day one, I will let you know at the very end of the video which items, um, after wearing them for a whole day, I decided to keep and which I'm going to put in my donate or sell pile. Kind of liking it, not gonna lie. All right, day two, my next maybe piece is this beautiful cream sweater. <sighs> love this sweater. I found it secondhand on Vestiaire Collective. It is originally Cezanne. I loved it because it has like this lace delicate detail here and it was my color scheme and I really wanted a sweater that felt a little bit more dressed up. But I found myself not wearing it often enough because look at the decolletage. Like it's a lot. So much so that I'm still cold all the time because there is just so much space. Today I tried to put on, look, I have like this little bralet that I put over my regular bra in the hopes that it would kind of, you know, make me feel a little less lady of the night. Um, but it, everything just kind of <laughs> falls. I really wanted to make sure I felt just comfortable in this piece. So, mm, jury's still out. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have a verdict. Okay, day three, my maybe piece is this chambray shirt. For some reason, I wasn't really wearing it as often as I was, I think it felt a bit tight and constricting when I was wearing it. So maybe I gained a little bit, a bit of weight. Um, it's still a bit chilly here today, so I've just layered my faux fur vest on top. Um, I think it'll still give me an idea of whether or not I'm comfortable in it. It's from Club Monaco. It's about three years old, at least. So, so far it actually feels pretty comfortable. Okay, day four, my maybe piece um, is these, is this, are these? culottes uh, that I'm wearing. I think a lot of you actually really like these and I think this is still an absolutely beautiful garment but I realized that I really wasn't reaching for them lately and I think this really brought me back to um, assessing the parts of my closet and ensuring that you know what's in my closet actually suits my lifestyle. And I go a little bit more in depth with this in my closet audit um, download. It's totally free. I will link it down below if you um, often find yourself struggling with going through your closet and really taking the time to assess it. So um, anyway, this was kind of a, one of my own revelations here is that I really have a lot of trousers, but the majority of my time is spent working from home wearing denim. Denim is like a personal favorite of mine anyway. Um, and I think when it comes to trousers, I wasn't pulling these because the silhouette, it's like, it's a little bohemian-ish and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not my style at all. I think I'm really starting to understand that I prefer things that are a little bit more clean cut, a little bit more structured, but because they're such an awesome garment, I don't want to I really do think they deserve a proper test. Okay, day five. Here I am in this short sleeve men's Wrangler button down, which 
I purchased years ago on a road trip to Florida. I still had not even started to think about slow fashion and sustainable fashion. This is how long ago it was. I haven't been pulling it out of my closet, I think because it's short sleeve. So when the weather is warm enough for me to wear short sleeves, I tend to only opt for t-shirts. Um, and when I wear button downs, I still like wearing long sleeve button downs and then with a pair of shorts. I think that's why I haven't been gravitating towards this. It definitely wasn't a very considered purchase, so um, if I do end up selling it or donating it, I don't think I will be, you know, super heartbroken over it. But the reason why I've kept it, it really checks off most of the things on my aesthetic list. So we'll see how this goes. All right, the moment of truth, the moment of reckoning. Um, I've gone through five of my maybes uh, over time and I'm gonna start with the yellow turtleneck um, that I had found secondhand. This is a yes. I realized after wearing it for the whole day, um, besides the fact that I definitely need a proper nude bra, which is on its way, what I was trying to do with this top which made it a maybe in the first place was that I was trying too hard. Like I kept trying to layer it over and under things, mostly under things because it's so tight. And I think it was just too much. Like the color itself is a lot. It doesn't need anything else. So uh, calm down, Alyssa, stop trying so hard and just wear this with a pair of like jeans or a pair of shorts or a pair of pants. Keep it super simple. Uh, and I think I'll get a lot more wear out of it this way. The second top, um, ugh, this one breaks my heart because it's a no. <sighs> the Cezanne. It is like everything I want and more in a sweater. But I swear this décolletage was just too much. Like all day I kept trying to cover myself up, A, because I was freezing. Like I mean half of my chest was exposed. Like how do you stay warm even if your arms are covered? And I've worn it backwards but then my back is always cold. It makes me so sad, you have no idea. But again, does it really make me that sad? No. I have food in my fridge, I have a roof over my head, uh, I am healthy, knock on wood, uh, so yeah. I mean, if you're always on the fence and you're like so sad to let something go because it's so beautiful and checks so many other boxes, I think I always bring it back to like, okay, well, like what's really important in life? And usually that brings some perspective and makes it so much easier to, you know, give that garment a second life through someone else's personal style. The other piece... Uh, was the Club Monaco shirt. It's actually not chambray, it's made out of tinsel, which makes it even more likable. I've decided to keep this because I thought it was a bit tight, but it fit really well. I was comfortable in it, I didn't have any gaping between the buttons. Um, this one was kind of a no-brainer, like I love a button-down shirt. I don't have a chambray shirt, and in fact I prefer this to a chambray, to a true chambray, I think, simply because uh, traditional chambray is a little bit thicker, whereas this really falls and drapes beautifully on the body. So, um, you know, the color is bang on, it fits right into my repertoire of, you know, my uniform of shirts and pants or shirts and shorts. So I'm gonna say yes to this one and hang on to it. The culottes, um, which I have used in many a video and I always get comments on. So uh, these are gonna go up on Poshmark. Again, sadly, this is a little bit like the Cezanne piece because um, all of my items from Club Monaco wear really beautifully. Um, no, they're not necessarily a sustainable company, so I don't typically shop there anymore unless it's secondhand, which, which is a shame. I really do wish they were taking more steps. Um, to to lighten their load on the planet and and or at least be transparent in their operations because their pieces are beautifully tailored beautifully made um but again that silhouette is just not me i 
I realize there's that fine line of like getting out of your comfort zone versus just really not a garment not being for you and I think this aired a little bit on the latter end of that spectrum. So um, sadly, uh, these are a no. I do use other sites like ThreadUp. Um, I love them actually. I love what I can find on ThreadUp. And I also use local consignment boutiques and especially right now they do need the support. So I really try and spread out um, anything that I am donating or consigning. Then the last piece was the short sleeve Wrangler. Uh, and although I love the story and the memories that come with this shirt, like it was one of our first road trips and the southern US is just such a cool, charming place and I love anything that reminds me of it. I realized when I wore my Power of My People shirt so often last summer, the beautiful linen one, even when the temperatures get hot, I tend to favor long sleeve over shorts because I love my legs. So when I have the chance to show off my legs, I'll favor that over, you know, showing my noodle arms, which probably need a little work. So sadly, even though this, you know, really nails all of my criteria in terms of style, I won't wear it. I haven't been wearing it. I think I have to let this one go as well. All in all, I'm only keeping two out of my five maybes. I hope you didn't mind me sharing that with you. I found it to be actually a really interesting exercise. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you are staying safe at home. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know I already said that, but that is like, I'm so grateful. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week in another slow fashion video. Ciao.